Well, guys and girls, fishermen and fisher ladies, uh, all those that's just out there watching, welcome back to another episode of Hooked Up Fishing. Upside down, 8 p.m., and that's about what these providers I have working with my mom have been really going through with these provider, one provider, not name calling or nothing like that, but uh, I gotta go, man. It's 8 p.m. and I'm gonna head down to the Galveston Causeway. Winds are down, and I got my saltwater stuff thrown on here best I can. And I'm going to get after them. Taking some of those backwater predator baits, baby. Gonna put them to work. But uh, that's what's happening, man. I'm just gonna jump up. Battery's just about full, really. It's just topping off. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. You know, all I have to have is that one card when I back the kayak up in here. And uh, inside there is my battery box. All that stuff is sealed, like I showed y'all. Just unplug that one cable from my charging system. Go get a light right quick. Be right back. Okay, guys, girls. Picking back up right here while I was showing this to you. Is my charging system wire coming in from my charging station. I just simply unplugged that one uh, terminal there. Plug into my Yak power system here. What do I do with that remote on? Put it in the house. Go get that remote right quick. Be right back. My remote right here, I don't know why it's it's lit up green. I had it inside this box here, but something's going on with it. But I light everything up there. And uh number two is my cockpit light. Turn those on real quick. And uh, bow, stern, turn everything off, one switch. So yeah, man, I'm gonna go hit the causeway, try to get me some flounder, five of them real quick. Hope I don't have to go all the way to the Tiki Island side, but most likely I will to get bit by flounder. But uh, I'll get back with y'all when I get out on the water, man. Go on and get hooked up, baby. Down to the Galveston Causeway. I'll tell you about what happened later. I lost one of my boondock wheels. So if anybody knows what about a spare boondocks wheel for your boondocks landing system, let me know. I drove all the way to Gibbons a hundred times with those wheels on there and never lost one. And now I try to come to this old salty water and load the wheel. But I'm gonna try to go take it out on the fish right quick. Get back with y'all when I do get out there and get on them. All right, I'm just gonna hope you guys can see me out here. It's never good uh, vision at night out here, but I'm gonna do the best I can to trying to get y'all some footage out here under the Galaxy Causeway. Winds are dead calm. No wind at all. I was telling you, I lost my dad on one of my boom dogs. I went on there, it don't look like you can buy it one at a time. Hope I'm not forever looking for a boom dog. Because I spent time riding up and down 45 tonight. One wheel. Don't look like many lights are on. I might end up going home. I 
come out here before and it's not lit up on the Galveston side, only lit up on the Kiki Island side. So I'm gonna save footage until I get out there and see. Y'all know what my we weapon of choice is gonna be. Chartreuse Propala stick bait. Yep, that's what I'm gonna be throwing right off the muscle. Go ahead and get a limit of these stinking trout real quick, hopefully. Hardly have any light thrown out here. Yeah, that's the whole thing though. I was trying to find the one on. I already found the whole thing. I was trying to find the accessories. Yeah, if you do, I'm just saying, I'm gonna go ahead and fish and, and if I don't, I'll just get some regular wheels. Yeah, I tried to go to that uh, where you could uh, uh, go order from a bunch of different things and see it, but nothing uh, nothing took me to a phone number. But of course, I'm out here rushing trying to do it right now. Um, oh, there's a trap. There's a trap. Stick bait trap. Y'all hooked up fishing. He got off. Probably a little Peter Popper, but he stuck that stick bait. Always. I haven't even went one, two pilings. Yeah, I haven't even went one piling. I'm already seeing them bust in the water and it's early. But, nah, nobody's over here around me. But, uh, they don't have it. They're, they're not repairing the lights. Not that many lights. Yeah, it looks like lights are going out and they ain't coming on here repairing nothing. Oh, it's flat. Glass. I could probably throw a top water right now. Oh, there's another one. Get it. I probably need to slow down some. But I ain't going to. Let me turn the camera off. Hooked up already. There he is. He hit it again. The hook's dull or what? You know, I'm going to never get away from all them trouble hooks. Got three sets of trouble. Fish got off. Hey man, chill out and I'll get you off here. The trouble hooks did you some good. I don't know how your buddies were getting off, but you weren't that lucky, partner. You made the camera.
about the little old bitty trout, y'all. A little Peter trout. Something that makes you get stuck in the hand. Here come one, y'all. This stick bait. They can't stand it. There he is. Stick bait trout, y'all. Look at that. Oh, he's running. Ooh. Trying to act like he got some size to him. Hello, Peter Prophet. Come on over here. Like that stick bait boy? You like that stick bait boy? You ate it, boy. You looked good to you, didn't it, boy? Galveston Causeway speckle trout, y'all. No size, but oh well. I just needed to get out tonight. And this way you don't get disappointed. Not with this stick bait. It eats this thing up. I can just get the bait back, continue fishing. Can I have my little bait back there, sir? Can I have my little bait back there, sir? You won't do that again, will you? Hold on, hold on, don't get me mad at me. I didn't do it. You did it. You ran into it with your eyes closed. Hold on, man. Hold on, I'll let that ain't necessary. The more you do that, the more them hooks get in you. you just calm down, I get you. Okay, y'all get ready. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to try to turn my cockpit lights on. At least maybe that will give me some light where y'all can see what's happening. I'm up here under one of these lights. They got very little lights on under the causeway. So when I run that stick bait through there and stop it, they're hitting at it. Because it's small trout. But if I run it through there and don't stop it, they stop it. Watch they stop it. Oh no, y'all shy, y'all camera shy. Maybe they don't want me talking. I'm gonna be quiet, y'all. Get it again. Small truck. I hadn't threw this loose in a long time and it's throwing like a dream, man. Back up some and get a better angle coming in here. Get lined up and running alongside of this pile in here. See if I can get hit for y'all. I don't like filming out at the causeway because the lighting, man. Not that great. I hadn't cast this thing in a while, so my accuracy ain't like it was when I was doing it all the time. So. There he is, there he is, y'all. Head shaking. 
they made a good redfish to come through that flounder or something. A little stinking trout. Stick bait action, y'all. Little Peter Poppers, that's all I'm catching, little Peter Poppers. Fighting good, though. Good line, cool, that's it. I need a gator mount. Come on now, all that flipping and flopping. Just chill out a minute, I'll get you off the hook, partner. Thank you. Hold on, calm down. Croak, croak some. Oh, wow. Come here, man. I don't want you slimy butt on my kayak. Getting the nasty. Yeah, really? Got it all upside your head. Oops, upside your head. You might not make it, Woodrow. Or I ain't do it. Just about got it out of you, boy. There you go. Another one. Oh no. Thank you for the fight. I have to go to the Tiki Island side to get big fish. Come on for that one. They all small. I ain't got no keepers. Why y'all got to be out there eating? Where y'all big brothers and sisters at? Hey, I'm trying to put them hooks in me. Thank you. You threw the bait right out. So eating that stick bait up. Get on, chicken bone. Got it untangled, do the fandango. I'll let y'all later while I get to buzzing these fish up. How the other the Galveston Causeway on? 11.35 at night. How you can drive that hobby when it's nice out here. Put it right on the side of the car. Bitty truck. I think he's big enough. Look at that. He followed it all the way up here. Pretty cool. playing with him, speeding up and slowing down until he caught up with him. He probably pissed off. Yeah, he pissed off. side of your jaw. Okay, and then there's one in your mouth. If I get it clean, you're going on about your business. 
There you go. Now you get a little camera time, and then you get on about your business. Pretty trout, man. Pretty markings on the fish. I hate I'm out here at night and you can't see it. Beautiful trout, man. Put you on back on the thing there. Thank you for the fight, partner. Look at him. See? That's a weak fish. Look at him. Don't know about your bin. He finally swam off. That's why I don't eat them. Weak fish. Die easy. That guy one pissed off. He got that. How you got that bait all upside your head like that, man? You got the line all twisted up. How the heck did you manage all this? Can I have my bait back? Hold on, man. The bait ain't even in you. You just got the line tangled all up in you to hell. That braid wrapped you up. I caught that fish with the braid. The hook ain't even in it. He just wrapped himself up in the braid. Uh-oh. Something coming through, a barge. Well, Y'all know what I'm finna do now. Big flounder time. Big eight inch curly tail. A little old small trout still busting the water over here on the Tiki Island side. Problem is, man, there are hardly any lights working under the causeway. I guess when they went out or go out, they don't come repair them. So it's not like it used to be when they first turned them on. No lights on that set of columns. And one light on this one. One out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like one out of ten is working, maybe. There he is again. Open his feet in the Slung it out. A little fat, healthy rascal. Go ahead and measure one, see what it is. Oh, that's a keeper trout. Well, may as well ice bagging. Make my trip pay off. Came over here and got my first keeper. Do ice bagging. My father-in-law loves him, so let him eat him. Plenty of ice for you, boy. First keeper truck, y'all, under that light on the Tiki Island side. I knew that. If I wanted to get a bigger fish, I'd have to come over on this side. 
the pile of stick bait, y'all. Still king of kings over here. We're gonna get hooked up. Gotta be throwing one. Not none of that old Missouri stuff. It's gotta be the. I can't even gonna call the name of it over here. It's gotta be a Rapala stick bait, man. Came up there and killed that thing. I sped it up and stopped it. He came up there and murdered it. Pissed off. Pissed off at your own self, boy. Almost 17. This won't take long. 16 and a half inch speckle truck came up there and murdered that baby. I thought he was little the way he came, chased it and chased it. Number two. Find the right area, guys. It won't take long. See, when I hit small fish, I just move on. I don't stay there and try to fish them out. Not on a day or a night like tonight. Got thunder cloud, thunder rumbling in the background. They said we're supposed to get some kind of disturbance, maybe Monday. Cat 4 storm out there. Hopefully we'll make it through it and be thankful to be alive. Hopefully it won't even come here. But that same light I just got the two keepers from. Up. I see now if I speed it up like I'm trying to get away and stop it, they lose their mind. There you go. We don't like you to do that, man. They don't like you to speed it up and try to get away. Thirteen, fourteen inch fish here. Thank you. Open your mouth, man. Thank you. Calm down too. You do that first. Calm down, man. 
about to tell you to run into that stick bait like you was grown. So chill out. I'll get it up out of you. You ain't running nothing. You run into that bait, that's all. And you're short. You're short. Until you you're short. Yep. 14 and a half. Hit good though. and slow it down, they come up there and eat it. fish at the biggest donkey. Oh, all you're doing is getting that hook all upside your head, holding me up while I can just get a big fish. I'm going to pick fish out there.
keepers are kept in non keepers quick. Feels a little better. Maybe just got it all upside his head. Well, maybe I'll keep it. Nope. Might be worth measuring. Yeah, I don't know. I'm about to tell you to run into that stick there. All upside your head, don't you? Oops, up, upside your head, say oops, upside your head. Oops, up, upside your head, say oops, upside your head. Yeah, stick bait alone, partner. It don't play. Take no prisoners. Get you all whoops upside the head. Then it gets you measured. Better not make it. Legal beagle. 16 inch fish. Well, he felt pretty decent. Drop him in the water like I did the crappie the other day. I didn't let y'all see that on tape. I dropped a big old crappie back in the water. Right when I was trying to limit out. Speed it up and slow it down. This is a little fish. Get off. Too little to pull. It's not as big as the bait. Hold on one second, I'll catch. It's big enough to say, oh, cheap. Yeah, but they don't like you to speed it up and slow it down. Not that Rapala, not tonight. I'm going to try a nice, steady, slow retrieve. Yep. It always works, too. You just come through that like you ain't scared. They don't like that either. I thought there were bigger fish be out in the, away from the light. That's a real small fish out away from the light. Can't get him to shake it either. When the bait fish is that small, you don't grab the fish, grab the lure, and let the fish shake off of it. Fish too little to grab.
active light over here. I hope there's some keepers in there. Okay. What kind of bird that is. They say whenever you see that bird, it's fish. Dave, one of the guys that first got me in the hole. Pretty big bloods. First thing I do is hit the collar. They're eating the thing when it hits the water, man. No wonder. for the measure report. To me, the Galveston Causeway is a sad place now because there are more lights out than on. And so, I'm not in enthused about coming back out, not here, not ever, not until they fix the light, which they'll probably never do. Trout was still aggressively attacking my stick bait, that's the upside. I mean, they hammered the thing all night long. There's no size to them. But that chartreuse is one that I've been really, really doing good on, besides the originals, black and silver. I lost my left side wheel assembly for my boondocks tonight. So if anybody knows where to get that, let me know. Hooked up vision. Not all happy about that for sure, but things like that happen with fishing, so. Hopefully I'll just buy a replacement part. I don't have to buy a whole deck of the landing gear system. I should have got pictures with the GoPro, but of course I use a stick bait. Load it up. But I got a limit. Caught fish all night long though. How tons of trout. I don't know if that's going to come out. Like I said, I should have ran the camera. But I caught fish all night long. Galveston Causeway, man. Kind of bummed because I lost my daggum leg, but oh well. Live and learn. I know to lock it down. Mark was telling me I didn't have to lock them down. There's a locking nut right there. I should have kept using it. But, you know, no fault of his or anybody's. Just, it happened. We hooked up fishing, man, and hard hitter. Thanks for watching, man. Somebody help me find another boondocks leg for my left side. Later.